Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Genesis 36 Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And we've got some names. Now, these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Edom is Esau, and Esau is Edom. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Cana. Those are the people of the land that are not Jews. He upset his parents, Isaac and Rebekah. Adah, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite. And Aholiabam, the daughter of Anna, the, the daughter of Ziblin, the Hivite. And Bashmith, Ishmael's daughter, sister to Nebjot. So Esau marries into the, to the people of the land to anger God. And then he marries into Ishmael. This is the son of Hagar. So you're crossing over into the, the child of the bond womb. You're crossing over two people that hate Isaac and Jacob. It's not very good. And a dull bearer to Esau, Eliphaz. Now let's go to Job chapter 2 verse 11. Job 2 11. You'll see a familiar name. Job 2.11 In Job chapter 2 verse 11 To show you where we are Now when Job's three friends heard Of all the evil that was come upon him There came everyone from his own place Eliphaz The Temanite There he is and Job chapter 1, we see, my page of this stuff together, hold on. Verse 1, he's from Uz. Job is down before Esau settles in Edom. He's in that area of Edom. In places that are coming from the name of Esau. And I'm not saying Job is of Esau, but one of Job's friends, the comforter, is Eliphaz, verse 4. So, this is where Job is, written before any of the books of the Bible has been written. And a holy book bear Jehu, Jehu, Shush, they know their names, and Jalam, and Korah. This is not the core that caused Moses' troubles. These are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Cana. And Esau took his wives, and his sons, and his daughters, and all the persons of his house, and his cattle, and all his beasts, and all his substance, which he had gotten in the land of Cana, and went into the country from the face of his brother. Now let's go to chapter 32, verse 3. Genesis 32, verse 3. And 32, verse 3, Esau has left Laban. He's on his way back home to his father. And 32, verse 3, And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother unto the land of Seir the country of Edom 
Now this area is down south of the Dead Sea. This is where the land of Uz. And what we read from 36 and 32, Esau leaves for his land. The land he leaves the land of Cana before even uh, after Jacob leaves for Laban's house. So I don't know if the anger of Esau would have settled down, but it would have been eventually Esau leaves. And it's funny because he says, from the face of his brother, verse 6, his brother was in Panoram working for Rachel, gets Leah, and then he works for Rachel, and he gets. That's what's going on when Esau says, you know what? I ain't going to be nowhere near my brother. He's had it with Jacob. And then we see they meet. He says, well, come, Jacob, come down with me. He didn't really mean it. And Jacob goes across the Jordan and settles in the land of Cana. For, the, for their riches, Jacob and Esau, were more than that they might dwell together. Now, does that sound familiar? I think it's Genesis 13, 6. Look at Genesis 13, 6. I think this is the reference. No, it might be a reference to something else. An old reference. Genesis 13, 6. Yeah, this is a reference. Genesis 13, 6. And the land was not able to bear them, and they might dwell together. For their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. Here's where Lot separates from Abram. And he moves down to Sodom. Well, isn't that interesting? The land cannot bear Esau and Jacob, and Esau heads down to Sodom, south of the Dead Sea, and a little bit northeast of the Dead Sea. It had to have been beautiful in Sodom. Because Lot looked at, wow, look at all those fertile, grassy lands. The grass is greener in Sodom. Esau, wow, that's we're going to go. That's where all my cattle and my animals are going to feed. You can't tell by pictures of that area today. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. You can find it in any map. Esau is Edom. The land of Edom is Esau, south of the Dead Sea. Now we're going to look at Esau's government. These are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons. Elphaz, the son of Adela, wife of Esau. You see him in Job. Rehu, the son of Bashemeth, the wife of Esau. The sons of Eliphaz were... Remember what Job said? Eliphaz of who? Of his son, Teman. He named an area of his son, like Cain named Enoch for his son Enoch. Eliphaz had a son, Timon, he names the land Timon, and he's living in Timon, and Job says, Eliphaz of Timon, there it is. You have the date. This runs with the, 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 the grandsons of Esau, the book of Job. And I got a date here, it says 1796, and I'm not going to question these dates, because I don't know. But you run that line of Abraham... Actually, the Bible gives you the genealogy from from Adam all the way to Esau. And you can draw that out. He lived such a bunch of years and he died. He lived such a bunch of years, had this child, and then he lived such a much time and he died. You can run that out. I've run it out. And you can get the approximate time of Job. Job is in the time. And Job is quite old in this period of time. And Esau comes down. Verse 11, Omar, Zepho, Gadam, and Kenaz. And Timna was concubine to Eliphaz, son, Eliphaz Ezer's son, and she buried Eliphaz a limonet. Now that's a troublemaker in Israel. The Amalekites are the troublemakers of Israel. 
These were the sons of Adua, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shema, and Mitha. These were the sons of Beshemeth, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Aholamah, the daughter of Anna. Now I'm saying these names wrong, I apologize. Giving the best effort. We're reading names here that at least we're reading in the Bible. We're actually read it. We've actually gone, we're going through the Bible every year to read, and we have it read to us, and we're actually studying the Bible and studying these and actually trying to read the name where somebody hasn't even opened their Bible. We don't even have a Bible. So thank God we can at least give it a shot. I don't think God's going to take a crown away from, you know, you didn't pronounce those names correct. It's like, God, look, and give them English names. But these are common names. You'll see the, some of these names over and over. Different people. Esau's wife, and she bared Esau, Jeosh, and Jalam, and Korah. And you'll see that name Korah later. These were the dukes. Now, he's not tribe. That's Israel. He's not princes. That's Ishmael. J uh, J Esau, Edom, is dukes. So these are the dukes of the sons of Esau, the son of Elphaz, the firstborn son of Esau. Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenna. Some of these names are the same names already read. When you try to do the, the names set forth as I'm trying to do, it gets all confusing, but it's not that confusing when you do it name by name. Duke Korah, Duke Gatim, and Duke Eliminate. You'll find him in Numbers 24, verse 20. These are the dukes that came of Elphaz in the land of Edom, the land called Edom. And you can find any Old Testament map, they'll have Moab, Ammon, Eden, the land of Canaanites, and then, you know, they'll tell you where Benjamin and Judah and all the sons are. These are the dukes that came of Elphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Adua. And these are the sons of Ru, Esau's son, Duke Nemeth. Duke Zera, Duke Shema, Duke Mizza. These are the dukes that came of rule, the land of Edom. These are the sons of Beshemeth, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Aholiabub, Esau's wife. Duke Jeas, Duke Jalam, Duke Korah. These were the dukes that came of Aholiabub. The more you say it, it gets harder it gets. The daughter of Anna, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom. And these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir, the Horite. So there's a man named Seir. He's a Horite. These are of the giants. Esau is mixing in with giants. And we saw giants before the flood. That inhabited the land of Edom. Lotin, Shobo, Zebun, and Anna. And Dishon and Ezer and Dishon, these are the dukes of the Horites, the children of Seir, in the land of Edom. So in the land of Edom, there's, there's a land called Seir. It's a mountain. And the children of Lotin were Horai and Hemam. Lotin's sister was Tima. And the children of Shobo were these, Avlin, Mahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. And these are the children of Zeban, both Aja and Anna. This was that Anna that found the mules in the wilderness as he fed the asses of Zibon, his father. Huh? I mean, I, I'm reading a note here. Of the asses of Zebun, his father. Now Saul lost asses before he became king. It's recorded that for whatever reason, that these men found asses. Boopy doo. There's something in there. But I'm going to tell you some perverted Bibles. Asses. I'm not trying to. It says A S S E S. And there are Bibles out there that said that these are springs of water. I think I read you that time, remember? 
I don't know how to get springs of water from asses because I have seen an ass, and it don't look like water. And what they're trying to, what they're saying, you know, these guys around, they didn't find asses, they found water. No, it, God knows asses. And people say that this is water, are asses. <laughs> but the remarkable thing is, I want to record that these guys found asses and saw lost asses. No. And the responsibility of King Saul was he couldn't keep care of his own animals. And yet David comes and he says one time, he says, man, I tore an ear and a leg out of a bear and out of a lion. You may have got my sheep, but I'm going to pull back out what is. Rachel came, she kept her father's sheep. Jacob said, listen, Laban, if, if a sheep was lost, I paid for it. If it was frost on, on my eyebrows, I took care of those sheep. And God saw in Edom, when God says, Jacob, I have loved, and Esau have I hated, there's a bunch of people here that found a bunch of asses. So you go through this list, and you, okay, I'm done, and you don't read it, and you miss a nugget. Now, what is this nugget? I don't know. <laughs> But it's there. And when you read through Chronicles, and when you read through Numbers, uh, then you get something in there. And J.S., I think is his name, and his mother you know, had a hard time, but he prayed this prayer, and God answered his prayer. If you read through this, like... In this verse, in another Bible, it says springs of water. How can you be spring of water? It, it says, as he fed the asses of Zip. Well, the, the footnote is that asses mean springs of water and <laughs> and the children of Anna were these Dishon and Aholimba the daughter of Anna and you saw this name again and you sit down you can run these genealogies I have it gave me a headache and these are the children of Dishon Hemdan, Emdan Ishban Ithram, Jehoram. The children of Ezer are these, Bilhah, Ziadven, Achan. God thought it was important to put these names in here. What? I don't know. These are not the names of Jesus Christ, remind you. But they could have been, couldn't they? You know what's missing out of chapter 36 of Genesis? It is not found in Luke chapter 3. And the children of Dishan are these. Ready? Drum roll, please. Uz. Job chapter 1. So I could maybe assume that Job came after Uz. Or the name was named Uz while he was living there. And then you got Eliphaz. So Genesis chapter 36, we've got somehow, some way the life of Job. And we are a far way from Moses, aren't we? Moses wrote Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, N Numbers. I think I forgot one. The five books. The first five books are written by Moses. We have a book called Job. Here's where it takes place. Here's when Job is written. When can you put the book of Job? Right between Genesis 36. Now there's a Bible out there which I only know about. I've been told. I haven't read it and haven't got it. They said it's a chronological order of the books of the Bible. As they fall the stories and I imagine it takes first second Kings and first second crown and it puts it in those orders of the Kings I assume and I wonder I'm not mocking that Bible because maybe the maybe it puts the book of Job here and we can see look how old Job is he is in with at least Isaac Jacob and Esau. Here he is. Arnon. These are the dukes that came of Herites. And that was mentioned in verse 20. Duke Lotten, 
Duke Shobo, Duke Zeban, Duke Anna. That Anna keeps showing up. Duke Daishan, Duke Ezer, Duke Dashan. These are the Dukes that came from Horai. Verse uh, 20. Horai. The Hurites come from Horai. Among the Dukes of the land of Seir. The mountain. These are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. So these kings are long before the kings. So I show you that the one with the ass there does not match. Saul. And so what happens when you got kings reign? And Bilal the son of Beor reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Danahaba. And Bilal died. Not much of an encyclopedia here, is it? He had this city, he's reigned, and then he died. Boy, but we're told about a lot of the kings of Israel, aren't we? You know what God says as far as Esau and their king? Oh, yeah, he, oh, he died. Next. Okay, next. And Joab. Now, some, and I can't say it's right, and I can't say it's wrong. Some make Jobab Job. Are they right? I don't know. It says, Joab the son of Zerah of Basra reigned in his stead. And when you go look at study Job 31, it could be. It could be not. Not enough information. And Jobab died. We know Job was a, a he, he had all kinds of land, he had animals, he had children. He had, he was a judge, who I'm trying to say. But doesn't it record anywhere being a ruler, a king. So, so Job dad died, and Hashem of the land of Temei reigned in his stead. And Hashem died. And Hadad, the son of Bedad, <coughs> who smoked Midian in the field of Moab, that's up north, Reigned in his stead, and the city in uh, his city was Abel. And Hadad died. And Shumla the Maskarath reigned in his stead. And Shumla died. And Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. Now, that's not King Saul, that's not the Israeli Saul. But notice how his name shows up. We have this guy whose name is Saul. We got Saul who will be king of Israel. And we got the Apostle Paul named Saul. And Saul died. And Baal Hannah, the son of Achabor, reigned in his stead. And Baal Hanan, the son of Achabor, died. And Hadar reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was Payu. I don't know if that was a city of taxes. Payu, but what? Payu. And his wife's name was, ooh, this, we get to know his wife's name on this one. We haven't heard of wife. Methatebo, the daughter of Metrid, the daughter of Mehazabeth. Metrid is her father. Methaheb is, his, is her grandfather. Now the Holy Spirit said, okay, record that woman's name for a reason. What? It's there for a reason. The Holy Spirit just does not throw words in your Bible and, you know, okay, now let's move on. There's a reason. And to show you that we don't know the Bible. And there's another case like that over here. In verse 2, it says, Aholibah, the daughter of Anna, that's her father. The daughter of Zebun, that's her grandfather. It's not necessarily a grandpa, grandma, grandchild. It can be a grandfather, can be a father. And when you get that, that a father can be your physical father, your grandfather, your great, 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 great grandfather. When you get that, you'll understand the Bible and a lot of the, the places that this does not sound correct. We got a trouble in the Bible. This verse doesn't match this verse. It does not have to be necessary a, a father, father. It can be grand and for mother. These are the names of the dukes that came of Esau, according to their families, after their places by their names, places or cities. Duke Timah, Duke Alva, Duke 
Jesseth, Duke Aholima, Duke Ela, Duke Pion, Duke Kenneth, Duke Teman, Duke Mibzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram, these be the dukes of Esau according to their habitation in the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. And there's a reason. And I can't tell you what the reason is. I don't know. But there it is. To the honor and glory of the Holy Spirit, he had those recorded for a reason. I know probably one reason is they are not in the line of Jesus Christ. Had Esau not sold his birthright, you would have been reading the line of Jesus Christ, and this would match. If Esau did not sell his birthright, this would have been found in Matthew 1 and Luke chapter 3. But, for a mess of beans, you only read in chapter 36. I don't even know if this is found in Chronicles. Let's see if I can see any references to Chronicles. Real quick. Now, I don't see any listed in Chronicles. I think this may be the only place this is mentioned, 36.